Hello and welcome to Bespoke Unit. I'm Rafael, and today I'm back here for another watch review. This time, it's of the Seiko Turtle Reference SRPD21. It's a special edition. It's often called the Great White. I don't know why it's got that nickname. However, I do know that it has a very, very cool textured wave dial and a super cool blue. Anyways, I'll be going over all those details and much more in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. And here we have it, the Seiko Turtle SRPD21. As I mentioned briefly in the introduction, this is part of Seiko Save the Ocean series, which makes this a special edition, though not a limited edition. Obviously, the watch would be produced in more limited quantities. However, they're not numbered. There's no indication as to how many are being made. What we do know is that the proceeds from these pieces are going to be donated to a nonprofit, and that is Fabian Cousteau's Ocean Learning Center which is dedicated to raising you know, awareness about the ocean and humanity's absolutely terrible effects on it. But that's a topic for another video. Anyways, let's get on with the review. So you may or may not be familiar with the dimensions of a Seiko, but this is going to be about 40, or not a Seiko or a turtle. This is exactly the same. Again, the difference is being in the bezel and the dial, which we will take a closer look at in a second dimensions for the case size or diameter at its widest point it's about 45 or slightly under 45 millimeters the lug to lug in this case is going to be 47 almost exactly thickness is around 13 millimeters you can see there and our bracelet or our strap size in this case i can't really catch it there but it's going to be 22 now let me line it up yeah, that's about right. Um, usually, you may or may not already be used to seeing a turtle on a strap. That's where the, that rubber or silicone strap they usually sold on. Of course, we can see that this one is on a very nice bracelet. Now, of course, we have our unidirectional diver's bezel. And it has a very, very interesting textured bezel insert. Obviously, we can see it's two-tone. It's kind of like a dark gray and this dark blue here. It has a very cool kind of concentric circle texture there. I'm not 100% sure what material this bezel is. It almost looks like ceramic, but I know in most cases ceramic can't be milled or textured, like given these ridges without it cracking. Maybe it is. Um, I just couldn't find information online as far as what it is. But nevertheless, it looks great. And it's a nice deviation from the, the traditional Seiko turtle. Um, bezel insert, which you can see is just flat, not only different in color, but also in the texture there. Now, the crystal is going to be a Seiko hard legs. That's a scratch resistant glass. It's proprietary Seiko material. They use it on a lot of their sports watches. So it's very durable. Uh, it's very scratch resistant again, and also shadow resistant, which are great characteristics that you want on a sports watch such as this diver. Moving in to the dial, which is probably the highlight of this piece, you can see that it's not only, it has that very cool wave texture, which is both raised and kind of gives it, goes into the dial, but it also has the sun ray texture, which as you can see, as I play here with the light, it goes around. So depending on how you look at it or how it's on your wrist or where your wrist is, the colors and the tones on the dial are really going to shine. You both have kind of deep ocean blue colors and their tones and then it gets a little lighter as well, which is very nice. We have the traditional Seiko sports watch minute track, which is surrounding, of course, the entire dial. It's got silver minute markings and it slants inwards there into the dial. So it definitely gives it a sense of depth, which I think looks great. There are oversized or very large hour indices, which make it super easy to, to read this watch in just about any conditions. And each of those hour indices are, of course, filled with Seiko green lumen bright, which again, there's tons of lights in this room where I'm recording. And even here, I sort of cover it and you can see that loom start to shine. The hands at center are 
steel. Again, great at refracting light and making it super legible. And of course, loomed as well. We do have a different second hand with a nice contour there, which is obviously different to the usual lollipop that we have on your traditional Seiko turtle. Now, moving on to the bracelet, and actually, before I get to the bracelet, I do want to mention that this crown is screw down. So this is going to allow the case to have 200 meters water resistance. I'll get into the functions in a second. But before moving away from the case, I wanted to mention that now we screw this back down. And we can see that the finishes from the case where you have this brushed finish on top and polished case sides moves down to this three link bracelet, sort of reminiscent of a Seiko Seamaster bracelet It does have some nice, you know, there's two lines of polished steel here. It's a nice detail, gives it some contrast. We do have a traditional Seiko folding clasp where it has not only this fold over component, but it also has the double push button security system where I don't want to force it because I don't want to bend the clasp. But you can see that even if I don't have that component open, and I don't push the buttons, it's not coming undone until I do. Continuing on to the movement, not that we can see it here, but this is going to be Seiko's 4R36 movement. And let me see if I can catch it there on the light. You can sort of see a Japan here at six o'clock. It's so light that it's hard to read. But what that does mean is that the movements made in Japan, the rest of the watch is probably um, assembled. The, depends on the probably the model, but this is either assembled likely in Malaysia or I've also heard um, Hong Kong is probably for some other SKX models. So likely the same for this one. Now power reserve on this movement is going to be around 41 hours. Of course, self winding automatic timepiece 24 jewels. And the accuracy is your traditional Seiko accuracy, which is about plus 45 minus 35 seconds per day. So a very durable movement. It's very reliable. It's not chronometer spec, but you're also not paying chronometer price, which I think is more than fair. On the wrist, it wears very nicely. This bracelet, I got to admit, it's very, very comfortable. It's a larger wear for sure. It definitely wears larger and of course heavier due to the bracelet than your traditional Seiko Turtle. Nevertheless, looks great. It almost has a Batman feel to it just because of those two tones on the bezel, the dark gray and the blue. But a beautiful, beautiful timepiece. There you have it. That's our review of the Seiko Turtle SRPD21 Great White. If that left you with any questions or comments, make sure to leave them below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. If you're looking for pricing on this special edition turtle, check the link in the description and see what you find. Who knows, it may just be on sale. Once more, I'm Rafael. This is Bespoke Unit. Thanks for watching.